Hello my friends, inside this video we are going to be adding the files that we just create, well the files that you just transfer to your online server. Remember, we create, let me go back in here, we create the offline, the error.php and the component. We transfer these files from the system folder and what you will need to do every time I already mentioned something similar like this in the initial videos and it will be somehow similar like creating a new module because every time that you create a new module you will need to come back in here and add the module position. In this case every time that you create a new file and a new folder you will need to come back in here and create the folder or the file name that you are creating. In this case we create the error. Let me go back and copy the error. Well we are going to start with the component. Make a selection and control C. Then we are going to go back in here and control V. Let's copy the file name. Control C and control V and control C. The last file name. And we are going to copy again all this. Click enter, control V, click enter and control V. Now let's go back and copy the error.php. Going back and paste the error in here. And one more time, the offline and down here. Then you are going to click file and save. And don't forget to upload this file to your online server so you can replace the old file inside there. You will need to go to FileZilla and upload this file to replace the old one inside your online server. So this is going to be really important. Don't forget about this because you can create problems, okay? If for some reason you create a new file in here and then you don't include that file in here, the file won't get installed just in the case that you install this template inside another Joomla installation. So be careful with this because at the same time if you include a file in here which does not exist inside the folders or inside here, that will create a template error. So either way you are going to have problems. For right now just keep this in mind if you create a new file in here or folder you will need to go back in here inside the template details.xml and either create the new folder or the new file name. Okay? For right now my friends that will be it and let's move on.